Hi guys, how you doing? Right, this is going to be my haul from the weekend. I wasn't really planning to go out. I have way too much stock and I'm, I'm so far behind with listing that I was going to take the weekend off. Um, so I didn't go out on the Saturday and then on the Sunday, Andrea and I decided that we would go to one of the later ones. So we went over to Hatfield, got there for about uh, sort of half nine, quarter to ten and have a, had a mosey round. It was much more relaxed than usual, um, but I still found a few bits. So I thought I'd do a quick haul and show you everything. Should be able to get this in, in one video because it's not a big haul. I'm gonna start with um, some Star Wars stuff. I went up to a stall and he was just still, well, he was still getting stuff out of the boot. And I, I turned up at the right time and he had this in his hand. Now this is, well, the, let me show you one of the figures these sort of things they're like sort of little short dumpy guys and I'm pretty sure these are galactic heroes is what they're called I've had I've had them before the galactic heroes ones and I think they're all the same series anyway they're sort of short dumpy little figures kind of like caricatures really anyway he had this in his hand and I I, I said I'm, I'm interested in that can I have a look I opened it up because this all opens out and it had loads of figures in it. There's still a load of the weapons in here. These are really nice because the figures have their, ooh, oh God, burn them around. <laughs> Dropped it again. Uh, yeah, so they have their weapons, accessories, etc. So anyway, I'll show you what I managed to get. Millennium Falcon uh, with gun there, radar dish there. Really cool looking. X-Wing, see that all the vehicles are really sort of dumpy and sort of stylized as well. So that's that. Uh, I've got an R2 which I assume is gonna fit in there. Yeah, there you go, oh no, mm, sort of. It almost fits in there. Uh, so there's, yeah, X-Wing. Uh, this one, which, um, uh, Star Wars knowledge, Slave One, I think that's called. There's that vehicle, assume this opens up. Yep, no character in there. And then a little, um, now what do they call these? Snow speeder? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, which likely I am. One of those. And a whole load of figs. Um, so yeah, there was a couple of other guys that had arrived behind me and they were really itching to get their hands on these. So I didn't have much sort of negotiation room. It's frustrating when you're at a stall with some really nice stuff and you can just feel other dealers just staring you from at you from behind and trying to reach in and grab the stuff. So he named a price and I paid it essentially. Um, and we agreed, well, he said 10 pounds was what he wanted for the millennium and everything else. And then he brought out this one and he said I could have that for a couple of quid. So I paid £12 for the lot. Um, yeah, and there's loads and loads of figures here. A couple of Darth Vader's, etc. So I will look into it. I haven't had a chance to do any real proper research on any of this. I just wanted to get this video done. So I don't know the value of that, whether I'll bundle it all together or do a couple of little lots. But it was really nice to find. Uh, I found this. This is Perudo. Um, the woman said to me that it, it, it was brand new, had never been used, but these do come cellophane sealed, so I'm not so sure. But when I got it back here, I managed to drop it on the floor in here and scratch the box up anyway, which was frustrating. It's all scratched now. Anyway, uh, I paid two on that, going along with the it was brand new business, but it's not really. Uh, I'll get between, sort of, well, around £10 with shipping on top for that, so not too great. Uh, a logo game, always worth picking up, paid a pound for that. This, I, I picked up another one of these stupid Glee Scenics, only because it was sealed. And it was on a stall where I bought a, a job lot of Nerf stuff, which I'll show you in a minute. So I kind of got this lumped in, so I didn't really pay anything significant for it, if anything at all. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend going for this. I only bought it was because yeah. <laughs> I only bought it because it was sealed, and it's going to go up to FBA uh, for Christmas. So that was those. Um, 
those there. And then I bought some more match attacks. God only knows why, I can't resist it. So another binder and it's absolutely rammed. Completely rammed with cards. There's loads of shiny stuff, foils and what have you. Well, they're all coming out. It's one of those days I've just been dropping stuff all day. Anyway, picked up another one of those. I must have thousands upon thousands now and I've still not done anything with them. So I paid a pound for that lot. That's those. Um, I'll save the Nerf stuff till last, I think. I picked up a Enid Blyton box set. This has got the some of the Mallory Towers and the St. Clair's ones. Uh, so that was quite nice, paid a pound on that. Another one of these, had one of these only I think last week. It's Harry Potter, the first four books in a set. I think I sent the last one up in my last shipment uh, that I've just sent away to Amazon. Um, but this one I think I'm gonna make a, a set of books out of. But yeah, that was good. I did pay up on it. I had to pay four pounds for this, but it was still worth it. So that's that. Didn't get much media. Um, like I said, we weren't there particularly early. Um, we were kind of just coasting around. I wasn't desperate for stock and, you know, so I didn't get a whole lot, but it was quite refreshing not to be running around like a crazy fool. Uh, I picked up this, which is a sealed, uh, try and get the reflection off. The band is Wednesday 13. Uh, I paid two pounds for it and sealed on FBA. I did scan it in, can't remember, 10 or 12 maybe, might be more, can't remember now. A um, couple of Disney bits, a double disc Finding Nemo, a Muppets, and a Wally, which were, now what were they, 50p's? I think they were 50p ones. A little bite-sized Triv, which is sealed and unopened, so that'll be going up to Amazon FBA. And that was a pound. And then there's Nerf stuff. Well, Andrea bought a whole load of clothing uh, for the shop, but I'm not gonna show that in this video. Um, I don't know if Andrea will do another haul video, she may do. Um, right, so Nerf stuff. I got, from one stall for six pounds, I got everything I'm about to show you. So there's this, which is an Alpha Trooper with a large magazine. There's a random Nerf target. There's one of these dart tag little uh, like vests. So you wear that over your clothes and then the, the Velcro bullets stick to this. There's a couple of pairs of the dart tag little goggle glasses things. Those I've got somewhere else. There's one of these mega ones. This is a Magnus. Takes the big, chunky, these ones. Big old bullets. Um, one of these ones, which is a rough cut, which fires, looks like it fires four at a time, or maybe eight at a time, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to try any of these out yet. Um, so yeah, one of those, and then a whole load of little ones. So you've got this one, well a pair of those. A pair of these. I've had these before. These are surprisingly powerful. Um, yeah, the little ones are great. So a couple of those there. Uh, another couple of little ones here. That's one of the zombie strike ones. So they're cool. And another three tiny little ones here. And then there's a whole load of ammo uh, and little accessories and bits and bobs. Just like a little, I don't know what that is. I guess that's just to carry your ammo in your pocket, is it? Or maybe it's a cartridge to go in a certain gun, I don't know. 
little handle bit there. So yeah, all of that was six pounds. I, I got to that stall seconds too late. A guy had just bought all the big guns. I don't know what he paid, um, but the price you gave me on this lot, I would imagine he did really well. But that's just the way it goes. The week before, I got a load of big guns and everyone else was trying to get in. So you can't win them all. But yeah, I, I took everything else that she had and was really pleased with that for six pounds. And then on another stall, at a pound each, I got two of these, how do you say that, Vigilant. These are the disc ones that fire little green discs. They had two. Um, I was able to test them before I bought them. They're working fine and they only wanted a pound each, which was an absolute steal. So I would imagine I will pair these up like that, sell them as a pair. So that was pretty cool. And I think that's everything I've got to show you. So that's my mini car boot sale haul from Sunday. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. There'll be the usual links below to my Facebook and website. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.